There is love all around, always love. There is love all around, always love. There is love all around, everywhere to be found. There is love all around, always love. There is peace all around, always peace. There is peace all around, always peace. There is peace all around, everywhere to be found. There is peace all around, always peace. There is love all around, always love. There is love all around, always love. There is love all around, everywhere to be found. There is love all around, always love. Hello, Phil. Thank you. Very good. Good morning, everyone. Now that we have our technical difficulties taken care of, my name is Chuck Fulner. I serve on the Board of Trustees here at Unity of Louisville, and it is my honor to welcome all of you here for this Sunday morning celebration of spirit on December 1, the first Sunday in, of the new month. We, <clears throat> at, here at Unity, we always open in prayer, so let's do that, please. If you would, just sit back, relax, <clears throat> and listen with your heart as I remind you of certain truths that you already know, that the universe is calling us. It wishes to sing its song of life and love through every fiber of our very being. We live in divine flow. We are in tune with prosperity, substance, health, peace, and love. And we walk and, we, we walk and work in love, the very infinite process that turns everything, absolutely everything, in our lives towards good. And for these truths, we, are, we remain grateful. So if you would please join me by saying, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Let's do that a second time. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. And one last time with zeal and enthusiasm. Thank, thank you, God. God. These Sunday morning gatherings don't just happen out of thin air. We have a lot of people who participate in this, this being the first Sunday of the month, our name tag team is on duty, and Jimmy Wheeler, who's a, on the board of directors, good morning, Jimmy, will be doing our, our morning meditation. Dolores Morton will read the uh, daily word for us. Robin Gooden had planned on being our song leader, but she is ill, so she's not here this morning, and Phil is going to substitute some almost ably for, for Robin. <laughs> Judy Paltzmeyer, our, our fantastic pianist, is here with us this morning. And the Louisville Institution, who has friends here and all across the world, and is Oklahoma's gift to Kentucky, is, our, is a source of our special musing this morning. The, 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 I started to call you Reverend, but I'll, 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 I'll say anything back. John Gage. Thank you, John. Today's talk is about faith, the substance of things unseen. I'm looking forward to hearing that. And Reverend Valerie Mansfield, our senior minister, will be providing that tale. Are we ready to sing a little bit? We are ready to sing a little bit. Please stand and join us for uh, our first carol of the Christmas season, which is O Come, All Ye Faithful. Yeah. 
adore Him. Oh, come, let us adore Him, Christ the Lord. Sing, choir of angels, sing in exaltation, oh, sing, all oh, ye citizens of heaven above. Glory. Sunday mornings, the most important words that we say from the platform are, whoever you are and wherever you are on your spiritual journey, you are welcome here. One of the ways we implement that is to welcome our first time uh, visitors. So if you've taken time out of your Sunday morning to join us for the very first time, if you would please raise your right hand as I'm raising mine so we might have an opportunity to acknowledge you. Seeing none, let's go on to my favorite part of our Sunday morning service when we get a chance to greet each other. I know that you're a Smith t says that time it, it has no relevance, but we try to keep this to a mere two to three minutes, but take as much time as you want. So <laughs> let us get up and greet each other. Yeah, 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 yeah.
This is the Sunday for technical problems. And if we can solve the next one, James, James has solved one of our technical problems. I failed to mention earlier that James is on the PowerPoint today and his sister Donna Dalton is running the soundboard. So, it is our custom in unity to always affirm those things that we want more of and that we know that already exist. So let's, if you would join me in doing the seasonal celebration affirmation, please, and help me say this and read this all together. Celebrating one humanity, honoring the tradition of God. Is there, let's do that a second time. Shoot his advent. Uh, oh. One humanity, honoring to the traditions of many paths of God. And do we have a second one, James? Thank you. Very good. Let's, let's reaffirm our generosity affirmation by repeating and saying again, I am an exuberant, joyful expression of spirit, participating in the, in the principle of generosity. Okay, we greeted our neighbors. We did that. We did that. <laughs> Are you ready to sing again? We're ready. Let's hit it. And it, yes. Oh. And, and, and despite those difficulties, we're ready to do the Lord's Prayer, after which there will be a moment of silence and, and as our oneness blessers bless the congregation. Let's go, Phil. Okay. Oh, heavenly spirit, who in love abide we worship thee, we praise thy holy name. Teach us thy children evermore to love thee. Thy will be done. Just thy children evermore to love thee. Thy will be done in earth as heaven today. Oh, give us grace to meet the coming morrow. Forgive our debts as others we forgive. Thou leavest not thy children in temptation, and from all error thou deliverest us. Thine is the And so it is. A reading of the Daily Word for Sunday to December the 1st, Hope and Faith. Christ awareness is born in me. Hope is the window through which I glimpse the good that is yet to come into my life. Feelings of hopelessness kindle my zeal, imagination, love, and perhaps most important, my faith. 
as my hope matures into faith, I begin to realize that the good that I am hoping for is already mine. The journey to Christmas is our shared human story of realizing our indwelling Christ presence. This journey begins in hope and faith. The journey of Christmas is our shared human story, realizing our indwelling Christ presence. As I begin growing in spiritual awareness, I begin to feel hopeful. I learn that the Christ, the image and likeness of God, is my spiritual nature. My hope for the future becomes my faith in the present as I celebrate Christ awareness alive in me and expressing as me. From Hebrews, now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the convictions of things not seen. And this is the daily word for Sunday, December the 1st. morning. 
I'm very grateful always to have the opportunity to, to lead us into meditation. I'm always pondering in terms of what can I share in terms of meditation. And what I give to you is what I give to myself. So if you choose, get yourself in a comfortable spot. Close your eyes if you choose. Perhaps put your hands on your lap, palms up. Just take a deep breath, deep cleansing breath. Let all that has happened prior to you getting this experience, just let it go. Just let it go. We're here in the presence of the divine. Now what I'm going to share with you is that what I share, to my, share with myself and it just opens us up and just lets this resonate with you. This day, this day, I forgive myself of all the missteps I've made in the past. I even forgive myself for the missteps I may make in my future. I release all feelings of guilt or shame about sometimes just missing the mark as I strive to be that all that God intends for me to be. Now I understand that every experience is my opportunity to learn and to grow. I see that unless I hadn't gone where I've been, I wouldn't be the honest that I am today. So I thank you, God, Mother, Father, Spirit, for this revelation. I leave my past behind me, and I press forward to claim the healthy, happy, and prosperous life that is mine to receive. Close your eyes if you choose. I'm going to lead us in a meditation for about three minutes, and then I'll take us out. As you're in your silence, repeat, I see the divine in you as I see the divine in me. The divine in me meets the divine in you. The divine in me meets the divine in you.
as you move yourself back into this experience, open your eyes when you're ready. Take a deep cleansing breath. Stretch a bit. And know that you are the love of God wherever you go, no matter what. Peace and blessings. People get ready, there's a train a coming. You don't need no baggage, you just get on board. All you need is faith to hear the diesels humming. You don't need no ticket, you just thank the Lord. People get ready, this train to Jordan, picking up passengers coast to coast. Faith is the key, the doors are open, hope welcomes all, and love is the host. There's still some room for the hopeless sinner. Who once heard all mankind just to save his own? Have pity on those whose chances grow thinner. There's no hiding place of the kingdom's throne. So people get ready. There's a train a coming. You don't need no baggage, just get on board. Faith is the key, open the doors and board them. You don't need no ticket, just thank the Lord. You don't need no ticket, you just thank the Lord. Is the key. We got it now? Okay. Technology is a wonderful thing when it works. <laughs> but faith is the key. We have faith that on Sunday morning everything is going to get up and work. You know, we arrive and we set everything up and it is what it is and we move on through it, right? Because we know that it's the journey of our soul. And that's what this Christmas season is really about. It's about that journey that each of us takes every day. And it all begins in faith. We take a step as children, as babies, and we learn to walk, we learn to talk, just as baby Jesus grew and learned to live in this human world. Knowing that spirit was alive always within, guiding, 
allowing us to be in the flow of faith. There's no difference between us and Jesus. We are on that journey. And we're all at different stages. And as we come together collectively, we help each other. We hold each other up in the highest power of prayer. And that's what this Christmas season is really, really about. You know, we love the exchange of gifts and the joy on children's faces because we believe as children. We believe in that power and spirit of Christmas and the exchange of love as gifts. And as adults, we still believe in that power of love. The giving and receiving and sharing with our own loved ones, with ourselves. Taking that self-care, that time during all the happenings, just to be and to live in gratitude. So as we begin this journey, we remember that faith is our ability to believe and that as we believe in God, or the many paths to God, there is unlimited opportunities for us to be love. And it shows up in some of the darndest places and some of the darndest times. (laughs) Right? I mean, we get to be that love in those times of angst and um, in those those times of anger, we still get to be the love. We get to share that love. We get to choose how we react, right? And with all the chaos that's going on in the world and all the chaos that's going on in our community and all the chaos that's going on in probably all your lives because I know there's chaos in mine, um, that's how we share our love. We hold each other up in prayer and faith in all that we do. And we know that if we stay in that energetic flow of universal love and life and energy, then we are way beyond, way beyond the consciousness of our individual lives. We are held up to that higher place as Jerusalem that place where love ignites. In the story, in the beginning of the birth story, in Luke, Mary goes to see Elizabeth. And Elizabeth had been barren her entire life. Her husband was a high priest. And Mary was told that Elizabeth was with child. And so she ran to her cousin and she, she visited. And when she saw her heavy with child, she was ecstatic and joyful because she too was with child and knew that these two children would change the world for a better place, a better time. Just as each of us coming together can change the world for ourselves or help someone else through the process of transformation. It's not easy, but it's our truth and it's who we are. And when we get to be that above everything else, we get to be that love, and help ourselves through the, through the rough roads, and we help our fellow man through the rough roads, it makes our heart sing. Mary, and I'm going to read this, strengthens her faith through this process. 
and she prays, my soul magnifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in my God, my Savior. When we remember to choose the higher power, to choose the higher road, that's when we are truly living to the fullest of our capabilities in that moment. And then when we realize that, we rejoice with that joy, that gift of life. Because life is a gift. It can be taken away in a snap. Not even physically. It can be taken away by somebody moving away or um, by a divorce, by a physical death. But there's many, many ways that life changes. And when we believe and stand in that faith that through those hard times, we share and hold each other in love and as love. Then that's how we continue to grow and to be joyful. So we see this higher state of prayer being fully integrated as love. And we fully integrate that in our lives on a daily basis, and most of the time we don't even recognize it. I know that's true for me. That when I sit in prayer and hold the world in that space, I'm holding myself in that space. And that is a true gift. And each of us has that energy, has that consciousness right now in this new day, in this new daily life. For me, faith is the highest and best that life offers. As a child growing up on Christmas morning, does anybody remember that? The excitement, the anticipation of the joy of this unknown, right? Nobody's ever seen that energy of St. Nicholas or Santa. But we know that it's alive, and it's alive in us, as us, and in every child in the universe. That universal love. And that is a precious, precious moment. Having, a, having grandchildren and watching them grow and watching their faces on Christmas morning or just the anticipation of it all, how excited they get and how joyful it is to be doing the Christmas play at church, you know? I mean, that brings great joy to so many children. And we're a part of that because we are present. We get to be the audience for that beautiful show. And it's gone on for generations here. We get to share in that love, that joy. And yeah, you know, there are sad times. Death does happen. And it makes that this time of year a little harder for a lot of people. I know for myself personally, you know, my sister, my oldest sister passed away seven years ago at Christmas time. And there's an emptiness there, right? And yet, the love is still there. The joy that she brought to all of us is still there. Her son, who was young when his parents passed away, lives life through them and brings her into our hearts every day. And that brings great joy to not only me, 
but my mom, my other sister, my brother, during this time, to see the blooming of this beautiful child. That my sister left in our care. The belief that each of us has the power to change ourselves is more than we can ever ask for. And then to be able to share that as love with the universe, that's even a greater aspect of our own humanity. And we don't all believe the exact same way, and that's okay. Because faith comes in many paths to God. There's not one right or wrong way to believe. There's not one tradition that's better than the other. It's what makes us sing those Christmas carols of joy and of love. That's what's important. That's why this community, no matter what it faces, as long as we hold the high watch, as long as we stay in that prayerfulness and vision, there is no greater power in the world. So let's take a moment and just breathe. And allow the possibilities. the possibilities for us to be the best that we can be as individuals and as a community. We hold the higher watch. We hold a higher consciousness for ourselves, for our family, for our friends. And we feel the loving energy of God moving in and through us. We are filled with that faith of that unseen substance. And we don't have to see it to know that it's true. We believe it. We get to be it, the energetic love. And what a blessing. And so as you just hold that vision of love surrounding each and every one of us and moving out into this community from inward, outward, doesn't matter where we are. What matters is that we stand in the faith and believe. And we hold that vision. As we boldly step forward, there is firm ground beneath us. And we step into the unknown, to the mystery, as love. That is the highest and best unfolding. And it starts right here, right now, with faith. And so it is. And so as we continue to move through this time, this season of joy, of peace, and know that faith is the key. It's the foundation of our truth. It's the foundation of life. And it's the beginning of our soul's journey. 
not only for Jesus, but for each of us. And love and gratitude for that higher consciousness that is moving us forward every day with ease and grace, no matter where we are, we are led by God, by that inner faith and love. And so it is. Namaste. This is special for me because I have this wonderful ensemble. Miss Paulsmeyer, <laughs> Mr. Crowther. <laughs> and together we want to render a song that uh, you already know, and as you always do, rise to the occasion and sing out. <laughs> Myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom. Let it be in my hour of darkness, she is standing right in front of me, speaking words of wisdom. Let it be, oh, let it be. Let it be, let it be, let it be. Whisper words of wisdom, let it be. When the broken hearted people living in the world agree, there will be an answer, let it be. There's still a chance that they will see There will be an answer Let it be Yeah, let it be Let it be, let it be Let it be There will be an answer Let it be Judy Paul's
on, Phil and Judy, what a beautiful way to end a service. Let it be. Amen. All right. I left it down there. So now as our ushers come forward, we um, take an opportunity to bless our gifts with our love and our gratitude and see the wisdom coming through and say together our divine prosperity proclamation. Divine love through me blesses and multiplies all that I am, all that I have, all that I give, and all that I receive. And so now as we hold these gifts in our hearts and we see them multiplied 10,000 fold and moving in and through this community as love, we give thanks as we say our prosperity affirmation together. We are stewards of divine abundance. We give and receive with gratitude. And so it is. Amen. So we have a lot that's going to happen this next few weeks, and today we're going to decorate the sanctuary. I, we do have some finger food snacks if you want to hang out and have some lunch and help us pull out the decorations and bring them up here and start, um, start our Christmas fun. The Unity Prayer Class, Gwen told me this morning, she changed the dates because she um, is going to be out of town. She's going to go home and visit relatives in New Jersey. So it will be on the 13th and 14th instead of on the 6th and 7th of December. So if you're going to take that class, the Unity Prayer class, which is going to be offered at um, Unity of East Louisville, just know that it's going to start on the 13th on Friday. Same time, same location, just a different day. And remember that on the 8th, our children, which is next Sunday, our children will be um, doing their Christmas pageant. So bring in your favorite finger food, and we'll share, and then we'll have the pageant, and then we'll have dessert afterwards. So join us for all the fun festivities. And then the last thing is the Christmas um, candlelight service. We're going to have a lot of fun this year. John Gage is going to be here um, that night to sing carols with us, so we're really looking forward to that one. So 5 o'clock on Christmas Eve, come and join us for lots of fun and joy. And so that's it. Keep your bulletins. I don't think our children are coming up. I don't see them. We want to sing the song and bless them from where they're at. Okay. We're going to stand and sing this little light of mine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. Everywhere I go, 
I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine all through the night. All through the night, I'm gonna let it shine. All through the night, I'm gonna let it shine. All through the night, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. This little light, this little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Thank you. That was fun. And um, just we'll do our prayer for protection and know that. Um, we are working through some technology challenges with our server dying two weeks ago and we moved everything to the cloud. So bear with us. We will get it all figured out. Um, for right now, let's pray out with our prayer for protection. The light of God surround us. The love of God enfolds us. The power of God protects us. The presence of God watches over us. Wherever we are, God is and all is well. And now for a peace song. Stay, y'all.